Think I'm more to the Minecraft found Jimmy Swift's skills will drive you wild From a treehouse to a city bank It's the Minecraft Files all day Hi, That was a good one. I like that one a lot. Hey, what's going on, Switches? It's Chimis here, and welcome back to the Minecraft Files. This is episode 32 in season 6, and today is Friday, which means it's TQF, which stands for Triple Question Friday, and as we do every week, I take three questions from you guys in this awesome Friday episode, and also, I set a goal each week, and the goal for this week is 15,000 likes, so guys... Let's hit it this week. I think we missed it last week. Uh, I, I actually can't remember, but I think I think last time I checked, we were below it. Let's destroy it this week. Let's get it. Hit that like button with your mouse. And uh, today, I am an idiot. Uh, why am I an idiot, you might ask. Um, well, maybe you have your reasons. Maybe you hate me. I don't know. Hopefully, you don't. But I <laughs> forgot to save my world. I have a program that I back up my world saves to, and I... Forgot to, to back it up, so last uh, Wednesday's uh, Wednesday's build is gone. I'm gonna have to redo it, uh, but I'll just do it off camera. Obviously, I'm not gonna do that again for you guys. Um, but yeah, I try. I updated to the new snapshot because I wanted to try and do a snapshot video that will probably be coming out uh, later today. And then uh, when I was getting ready for this episode, I reverted back to the other one, thinking I had saved it, and nope. I did it. So whoops, I am a butt for doing that. So, oh well, it's okay because we actually don't need that at all for today. I have enough reads for what we're gonna do. And uh, I got an idea earlier today um, that unfortunately doesn't come from one of you guys and I do apologize, but uh, it's something that I thought would be really, really fun to do for this Friday episode of the Minecraft Files. And that was that I wanted to sort of create an enchanted nether portal. And by enchanted, I mean more, um, just, just a lot more like decorative, uh, not like an actual enchanted portal. But I have this little space down here, and I've got this just nether portal just sitting out here. And I've always, ever since I built this, I wanted to kind of do something slightly different with it. The terrain down here in this little gully is really cool. So what I want to do is sort of make, um, I want to enclose this space. And I want to decorate this area with a bunch of green stuff. Grass, uh, leaf blocks. Uh, vines and just make the whole place look really really cool and sort of mysterious um, using Minecraft stuff so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go out and we're gonna collect some stuff for this build uh, so like I said I'm gonna need some leaf blocks I'm actually gonna get uh, another pair of shears here so all of <laughs> all of my resources and redstone and everything from last episode that I used in the creation of the um, of the, uh, the, the semi-automatic reed farm Just it's it's back. So yeah, sorry about that. Oh, well, uh, no, but seriously I hope you guys don't hate me I don't know why I threw that in there at the beginning. I think I was just being sarcastic, but uh <laughs> Anyways, so today's episode should be pretty fun I'm very excited about this uh, this build idea and I'm gonna head over here to this uh, this swamp um and we're gonna steal some vines. So the first thing, yeah, the first thing I wanna collect is vines. I'm gonna get a bunch of these. Let's get a, a lot. So I'm actually gonna tie stars up uh, right here on this little pole. So let's do that. And here we go. So I don't want to, obviously, oh yeah, I forgot. You have to, to get the most out of your vines, go from down to up like that. And I don't wanna to totally destroy the vine, uh, the look of the, the, um, the swamp here. So I am just gonna go ahead and um, leave the the vines at the top there for um, so that they can regrow. Actually, not because I'm chopping down leaves now, leaves now too. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But uh, yeah, hope you guys had a good week. I had uh, a uh, I had a good one as well. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I've been playing. Um, well, I'll ah. I'll save it. I'll talk a little bit about that later because I've been playing uh, quite a bit of video games this week and um, Normally I don't play I don't I don't normally play that many video games for recreation most of what I play I record and it turned they get turned into videos and I don't get to enjoy them in the sense of like I used to when I didn't have to worry about recording stuff I would just sit and play and enjoy of course the, uh, the alternate twist with that was that always in the back of my mind, because I usually did that while I was in school, was I had some sort of homework to do, and that was always bumming me out. And I'm sure you guys feel that way too, because I know a lot of you guys are probably in school at the moment, um, and you can't play as many video games as you want. 
But um, yeah, been there, done that. So glad that I graduated from college and no longer have to deal with that. And obviously this is my job now, so it's the best. But um, but yeah, so, oh gosh, we've got Zamboni. Get out of here. Oh gosh, they're everywhere. Okay, the brethren. I guess we'll get into a fight today. Sure, sure. But yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and take the first question for TQF. Um, and this question comes from, see if I can do this while fighting. Comes from Dr. Smeg who says, if you had to move to another country, which would you choose and why? So if I had to move to another country, which I wouldn't because America is the best. Uh, <laughs> it's true, it's true. Um, if I had to move to another country, I would pick another English speaking country to move to. Uh, that's my reason why. Uh, so that narrows things down a little bit. Um, so that falls in with Australia, Canada, not the French part, the English speaking part, and uh, the United Kingdom. Um, so, or yeah, Great Britain. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my choice. That's what I would do. Um, I think if I had to pick one from all of those, I would probably pick, well it depends because I've been to, I've never, I've never actually been to Canada, okay? I don't know that that's like something to write home about, like, no, no offense if you're a Canadian, I'm just saying I think it's a lot like, it's probably a lot like America, except when you go way up north and it's like super freaking cold. Um, cause look, we're both in North America and the climate is probably the same and just, it's probably not that different. Uh, at least in terms of like what things look like um, That being said I have been to England before um, And that was awesome. It felt well. I was in London. I went to London and it felt a lot like America um, Just so everybody talked like they were from England um, So that was like the only different or the only difference um, I would have to say I think so there's two reasons two re or two things that they come to mind one, I would want to move to Canada if I couldn't live in the U.S. and I had to leave. I had to leave the country. If I had to go somewhere else specifically, I would. I would pick Canada because, and I'm gonna do. I would pick uh, Great Britain because. Um, I would pick Canada because it's close to the U.S. and I could come visit. <laughs> um, also, um, it seems like they pretty much get everything that the U.S. does in terms of like movies, entertainment, that kind of thing. Um, because the distribution is probably quite a bit easier than doing things overseas. That being said, I would also pick, um, England because of their love for soccer. And I've always wanted to live in a country where soccer was a lot more popular than it is in the U.S. It's growing. It's growing quite a bit, uh, in the U.S. And it has been significantly over the past couple years. Um, but, uh, that being said, I think it'd still be really fun to live to live there and experience all the glory that uh, that is England, because that would be awesome. And um, they speak English, like I said, so that would be nice. But um, yeah, that's that's my answer. Uh, as for Australia, I would like to live in Australia. I don't know. I have never been to Australia, but as far as I know, I think like their seasons are all backwards. Uh, so like, I think like their winter is like I don't know. I could be totally wrong about this. I've never, like I said, I've never been. I've never looked into it, so I do apologize if I'm getting this wrong. But I think like their winters are really warm and their summers are cold or something like that. And that would just throw me off because for me, summers are hot and winters are cold. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Hey, I finally spawned a chicken with an egg. It's like the first time that's happened in this uh, in this season, in, like quite a freaking while. Oh yeah, I want to also go over to the jungle and I want to strip out. Ah, I want to strip out some jungle leaves uh, I was gonna grow some here but then I realized that if I use my saplings to grow them I won't get any new saplings back so I think I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to chop them down over here instead because that'll be that'll be a little bit easier because um, yeah the jungle leaves look really freaking cool I really like how they look um, I mean who doesn't right I think they look pretty awesome all right so I gotta find some they're right here so let's just go ahead and strip this tree Ooh. 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 <laughs> I don't know why I'm making these noises. All right, and then we'll go ahead and chop this sucker down. There you go. Oh gosh, I gotta get back to the house because it's gonna be nighttime very soon. So let me collect all these guys. 
Um, but yeah, that was an interesting question. Thank you so much to Dr. Smeg, who is a PhD in um, awesome question asking, apparently. Uh, thank you for asking that question. I appreciate it. Uh, as I do all of your guys' questions for TQF. I really do. It keeps the show alive. It keeps this, the show going, um, which is greatly appreciated. I do I do appreciate the, the feedback and interaction from you guys because without you guys, this show would, it would have no fuel. It'd be like TQF with no questions. I would just be playing Minecraft, um, which is like what I do every Monday and Wednesday. But TQFs are more special, as you know. Elevated to that status in uh, season three. The first TQF trivia, for you guys. I meant to do this on the first TQF of this season. But I forgot. I have it written on my whiteboard here. Uh, TQF started on September 24th, 2011. Yep, that was the first TQF. So there you go. That was almost, that was two, that was over two years ago. Holy, I've been doing this for two years? Jeez. Man, that's crazy. That's a little, that's a little crazy. How far we've come. It's been amazing. All right, I'm gonna get some more, uh, some more jungle leaves. You can't have enough of these bad boys. Um, because I think they just look freaking awesome, so. Yeah, and then we'll get to hopefully starting to decorate a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna grab stuff like this, like roses and stuff. Uh, I'll leave that one there. He looks cool. He looks happy. Oh, here we go. We've got a bunch here, though. Let me grab a couple of these. There you go. All right, leave a couple of those too. Don't wanna, don't wanna milk it dry. Um, that's what she said. Okay, so let's go up here. I am going to also disintegrate this tree. This tree does not deserve the leaves that it has. Get out of here. All right. Oh, geez. All right. Good thing I have this looting, or not looting, silk touch axe <laughs> as a backup. Oh wait, no, I also bought. Oh no, that one already broke too. Wow, look at my inventory. It looks like the decoration screen in creative mode. Ha! <laughs> Sweet. All right, let's collect all these bad boys. And I think that should be enough. Should be a good amount. Um. All right. Cool. So, what else did I want to grab? Um, I've got vines, I've got leaves, um, I have some flowers. We're gonna be cooking up some clay to make some flower pots and stuff. Oh, what do I want to make the... I don't know what I want to make the roof out of, specifically, for the little world, or world, yeah. The world, no, the, uh, the little nether portal area. Um, but I guess we'll figure that out. Um, we could plant wheat or something there too. That could be kind of interesting. All right, so I do have to drop off a couple extra supplies here. Um, let's just consolidate those real fast. Uh, we've got some extra arrows that go there. Um, let's throw some wool into there. I need to re start recollecting that again because of all the trading I did last week, I got rid of all the wool that I had. It was craziness. Um, but hey, it's okay, it was for a good cause in emeralds and pushing people to, to trade with me more. Trade with me more! Yes, all right. <laughs> okay, so what I wanna do here today, let's grab some uh, bricks, but we're actually gonna need, uh, we're gonna need to cook these up. We are gonna need to cook up these clay balls. Um, so let's do, uh, let's do this. Let's do that. And um, let's go ahead and do this. Where did that go? Oh, over here? I guess I should just hang on to that and eat it, huh? Since it's already, we've already got 64. Oh, I need to cook up these potatoes, too. Yeah, there you go. We'll just leave that there. We'll let, the, let these guys cook up. That way I'll have some uh, easily accessible food next time uh, I, hit the, uh, I hit the furnace. All right, so... Uh, did, wait, did I get those other bricks? I thought I had other bricks. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> Oops. All right, so let's do this right here. Get these. Oops, yeah, get those flower pots. There we go. Uh, and I'm just gonna make a handful of these guys. I think I've got uh, cacti as well that I may want to use for this. As well as, do not forget, 
things like glowstone and redstone lamps, which surprisingly, I forget how to craft. So let me um let me look that up real fast. Uh, on the old phone here. Let's see. Uh. Let's see here. While we wait for these guys to cook up, let's do redstone lamp. I, I haven't crafted one of these in so long. Um, it's going to be like, oh, duh, when I find it here. Oh, well, yeah. It's glowstone surrounded by a uh, uh, little like redstone on the north, south, the east, the west part of it. I always called it up. Let's just do it up, down, left, right. Sure. All right, that works. So that's easy enough. Um, all right, so let me create. Uh, oh, that didn't work. Take that. Some flower pots. Oops, I wanted to leave that. Never mind. Dang, dang it. All right, let's do this. We'll just sort of leave those guys in there. Um, all right, so I think we'll start with like six for right now. Um, just. We'll wait for those to cook up because I want to I really want to get started building um, All right, so here's what we'll do. Let's take Melvin with us because um, Melvin has not been with us lately He has not been with us enough. So my man Melvin. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's like this is what you get for always abandoning me. Don't you dare Don't you dare All right, come on Melvin Follow me outside of this house, please. Thank you. Yes. All right, sit there. I'm gonna go close the door. All right, let's go decorate. So, I'm gonna come over here. There you go. Here's a good boy. Um, I th oh 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 oh. I got a good idea actually just now for what I want to maybe put in put in for our roof. Um, could be interesting. Where are you, moment? There you are. All right, sit there. Sit here. Uh, leaves. Leaves would be a really cool top part for our um. Hold on. Leaves would be a really cool uh, top set, uh, addition to this little this little area. Um, right, let's do here. Kill that guy. Thank you. Okie dokie. Where is that XP? There it is. All right. So leaves. Um, I'm actually gonna go up to the top there. Let's uh, let's get up there. I wanna I wanna see what this look like. We of course will need to sort of intersect it with the. Um, with jungle jungle logs probably but I've got ooh, 13 of those okay so I think we should start like maybe right here um, oh wait I need before I ruin all these I do need some more shears so let's make some more shears oh wait I can do that already I think I have yes look at this four on me I didn't need to run down there that was useless all right well we can get back up I think yeah here we go all right so I am going to start um, do, let's do that. So we'll just start there. Um, kind of cover this over. I think this is going to look really cool. We're just going to sort of fill this in as we go. Oops. Oops. Alright, let's do this. And I don't know how far, like, one of these wood blocks goes uh, until you have to place another one. But, um,. I'll just sporadically place these in here like this. And these jungle, these jungle ones look really cool. Cause I don't want them to like, I don't want this to all decompose. That's, that's, that's the great fear, of course. Um, I could do like a pattern, but I want it to look very like more, probably more wilder, wilderness-y than anything. <laughs> very enchanted looking, uh, mystical, um, which it probably already does under there, to be honest. Only Melvin knows. Melvin, what's it look like from down there? Melvin. It looks good? All right, awesome. Yes. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. All right, good. We have more jungle leaves. Let's just combine these. So that's all in one glorious and beautiful stack. There we go. Let's throw those in there. What was that, Melvin? Oh, you're hungry? Well, I don't have any fish. I traded them all away last week to the villagers. 
Yeah, the the villagers. We have villagers in this map. I know they're really far away, but I I haven't uh, shown them to you yet. Uh oh, what? Why haven't I shown them to? Because I'm afraid that you're gonna like run and just sit on their chest or something. Not like, no, not their actual chest. Like if they had it like a chest, like you do to me all the time. You sit down on my chests, like the wooden ones. Right, right. You like a woman with a big chest. I get it. I get it. That's not what I'm talking about here, Melvin. Good lord. So, yeah, no. They know that you're slightly perverted sometimes. It's okay. We don't have to explain it to them. <laughs> He's a character, man. He is a character. Okay. This is already looking freaking really cool. Um, I'm already really liking this. I'm gonna put some torches down here just to provide a little bit of light. No, Melvin, I you're not a registered sex offender. It's okay. Don't <laughs> don't worry. Uh, unless, well, no, no, no. Hold on. Unless you haven't told me something, have you molested anyone lately? Because if you have, that's something that we should discuss. It, you've never. <laughs> he said, for the record, I've never molested Tropicat. Well, that's good. I'm glad. Glad to hear that. You too. All right, cool. Glad, glad that you're 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 saying sentences and you're like, yeah, I'm glad to hear that too. What a weirdo. No, I'm just kidding. I love Melvin. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. All right. Um, I need to sleep because it's nighttime and I'm running out of jungle leaves. That's not good. Uh, we're gonna have to probably collect some more because I'm not quite finished with that little upper canopy part yet. And dang it, did not mean to do that. There we go. All right. So let's go in here. Go to bed. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the next question for TQF. This one comes from Nasser Baki, who says, will you be doing a Let's Play for Sonic Lost World on Wii U? Um, I'm actually thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I, I've sort of shy, like I've shied away from Let's Plays because I started to just like get really fed up with them. And I didn't do a lot of them, right? I've never, I mean, I, I don't think my channel is ne necessarily known for doing Let's Plays um, of games other than Minecraft. I play plenty of other games. I, I, I don't consider myself a Minecraft only channel. Um, and uh, lately I've even been doing a little bit less of it because I just feel like I've been so much, I've been so much more intrigued with other games lately. Um, and I just, I'm getting, I don't know, kind of sick of Minecraft. Uh, not, not necessarily sick of it, but um, I just, I'm, I'm having a little bit more fun playing other things at the moment. Minecraft will come back, don't worry. Um, I know everyone's probably gonna freak out, but uh, <laughs> anyways, so I've sort of shied away from doing the let's play thing because I would just I would get sick of, and I would just get tired of playing the game. Um, I would I would just get really just sick and tired of playing it. Uh, Sonic Unleashed is a perfect example of that. Um, I do I, I want to finish that game at some point. I really do. Like that series is not dead, and it's I know it's been like over a year since I posted the last episode of that. Um, but I, I, I don't consider the series over, like, the game is, I still own the game, it sits very happily on, on a shelf, uh, constantly reminding me that I need to finish it, and I just can never bring myself to want to go back to it. Now that game was excruciatingly hard, like, excruciatingly hard, much, much further beyond my skill set in general video games, period. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not a skilled gamer. Um, I think you guys know that, you guys probably don't come to my channel. <clears throat> to see skilled gameplay. Now that doesn't mean that I'm not good at some games because I am. Um, in fact, I am getting better at certain games like uh, Halo 4 for example. I've been getting re not really good, but I've been definitely getting a lot better at that game um, <clears throat> as I've been playing it. And uh, so hey, yeah, no, that's awesome. I love that I am improving at certain things, but for a game like, <laughs> like Sonic Unleashed, oh, that game is so difficult and the last stage especially, was just unbelievably difficult. And <clears throat> so I took a break from it and uh, you know, just, you know, I got distracted with other things, other videos, other series that I had going on, as well as the fact that every time I thought about going back to that series, I was re-reminded about how it incredibly rage inducing that last level was and how just much I just didn't want to play it. Like I'd sit there and be like, I really need to finish this. I, I really need to finish this. And then I'd be like, but do I want to put myself through that? Do I want to put myself through that kind of just rage and not fun? And I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> I 
every time I would just go, no, I don't feel like putting myself through that right now. I'll do it later. Uh, I'm a big procrastinator. That I just am. I'm, I've always been, and I'm a big procrastinator. Uh, and maybe that translates into finishing off a series like that. Oh, excuse me. I'm yawning. Uh, I don't know. But uh, that's why I sort of, that's one example as to why I've sort of shied away from Let's Plays. Um, and the other thing is that like a lot of times I'll, <laughs> this is just me being weird. Um, I start, we'll start a Let's Play. I'm like, wow, this game is really awesome. And then uh, the game doesn't stop being awesome. The game is still awesome, but like mentally I move on. I have a very short attention span. Um, it, oops, sort of comes with the territory, I guess, of my ADHD. Uh, but I have a short attention span. And um, where, okay, that's up there apparently. Um, and uh, so I'll play a game for a week and then I'll be like, all right, uh, what, what's the next game? And it's not intentional at all. It's not intentional at all. Some games, there are some games, I'll admit, there are some games that I play for years. Um, and they just, that's when I know that, for me, that's like the best, like a really good game. Um, every game to me, I was talking to Clash and Double about this last night. Every game to me, it seems, is, um, uh, I should leave a little exit here. For the most part, for me, if I'm entertained, like if I'm like, if I'm like legit entertained by a game, I'm gonna put a little archway here, a little doorway. This would be cool. Uh, if I am just entertained by a game, um, meaning if I am not bored with myself and I'm actually having a good time, even if the game is terrible, even if it's terrible and it can, it's so bad it'll make me laugh, I still, I won't ever like say, oh, that game sucks. I never, I never think video games suck because as long as I'm entertained and I'm having a good time, um, then that's what matters to me. So like a lot of people are like, oh my God, that game's terrible. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's just like, it may not be coded like properly. There may be glitches with it, but hey, those glitches make the game hilarious. And I need to get more, <laughs> I need to get some more freaking, ah, uh, freaking jungle leaves. Um, so, so I, I never, ever, ever like consider a game terrible. Like, uh, and I've watched like people review games before, um, of like just terrible games. Like I know I've watched a bunch of John Tron videos where he reviews like terrible games. He's got a great channel by the way. Would love to meet that guy someday. Um, really cool dude, or so it seems. I've never met him, but he seems like a really cool guy. But anyways, he's reviewed some really, some really like crappy games in the past. And he does a hilarious job. And if you guys have never seen John Tron show, you should check it out. But um, I look at those games and I'm like, yeah, that game looks terrible. But if I played it, I still think I would have fun playing it. And not like, not like playing it like, oh man, I'm gonna like wipe this out and beat this game. Like I'm gonna play like 100 hours of this game and just just destroy it. Nah, probably not, okay? Probably not, but uh, if I had to sit down in a dark room sometime and that was the only source of entertainment I had, I'd be like, cool, this game is like gonna make me laugh. It's gonna entertain me for, for a little while. Um, and look, the, th the funny thing about games like that that are really glitched, and then I'll get back to answering the, the question at large. The funny thing about games like that is like, if you're like, let's, okay, hypothetically speaking, let's say you were in prison and all you had to do to entertain yourself in prison was play like the world's worst game. Like, not, not like the world's worst game, like, like uh, the impossible game or something, which I saw Double do a video on yesterday because that would just drive me insane. But like, like, let's say a game like, like there was some Superman game that I think um, some call me Johnny reviewed uh, for Nintendo 64 that was so glitchy and it looked to be like the worst game ever. The, <laughs> the, the thing that I find with that is like, if you were in prison <clears throat> and that was all you had to like entertain yourself, just because the game sucks doesn't mean you can't have fun with it. Like what if, what if you created some sort of a way, right? To like figure out, okay, well you're like, all right, this game is freaking glitchy. I can't even get through this level. But like, what if I created a way to basically come up with a way to create another glitch or something or like if I could glitch like just try and figure out like weird glitches that allow you to do stuff you're not supposed to do like you can you can have fun with it like you can make a game out of it and just be like oh cool like if you this game is terrible and because of this glitch you can do x y and z and now this game is really cool or something like that 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 kind of stuff is oh, I thought I was getting dark it's not um that kind of stuff I think would be really fun um and I don't have the time to to like investigate that stuff nor am I hinting at like the fact that I want to do this uh in a video or anything but I'm just saying I don't normally consider video games bad 
I really, I just don't. I, I, it's just not, it's not within me to like consider a video game terrible. Um, if it's something that is gonna like still entertain me or whatever. So that being said, um, here we go, a little, a little spot here that looks kind of neat. Um, that being said, uh, Sonic Unleashed is something that I want to finish, and it's not a terrible game. The werewolf level, the werehog, whatever they're called, were werehog, werewolf levels. Um, I think, it's, yeah, I think it's a werewolf levels. Those, um, those were frustrating. They weren't terrible. They just weren't the best. It's not like the Sonic experience that people wanted. Um, but, uh, anyways, so to answer your question, this is like a freaking, look, this is what I fill my episodes with though. I gotta talk about something here. Uh, from Nasser back, he says, will you be doing a Let's Play for Sonic Lost World Wii U? First of all, would you guys want to see that? Uh, I played it at E3. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. There's some a lot of like really cool new abilities. Um, what I like about it the most is that finally we have a really cool exclusive for uh, Wii U and 3DS. So the Nintendo exclusive with Sonic Lost World um, exclusively on the Wii U and the 3DS, which I own both of those, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's it's cool. First of all, to because I'm a fan of the Wii U. I really like the Wii U. A lot of people don't give it enough love. Uh, it's a it 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 it's a good system. It just needs more games. That's it. And they're coming. The games are coming. So uh, watch out, everyone, because I think Wii U is going to surprise a lot of people here uh, in the coming months with titles. More specifically, referring to uh, the new Donkey Kong that's coming out, um, as well as the uh, new Super Smash Brothers and Mario Kart 8. Um, both of those, I think, are going to sell a lot of Wii U's personally, because. Um, Everybody, everybody loves Super Smash Brothers. I don't know anybody that doesn't like Super Smash Brothers. And um, who doesn't love Mario Kart? Like, if you hate Mario Kart, get out. Leave right now. Get out of my channel. Because <laughs> those are two games I'm definitely going to be playing on the channel. Mario Kart 8 and um, and uh, the new Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. But anyways, like I said, uh, Sonic Lost World. Do you guys want to see a Let's Play of that? Um, if you do, perhaps... Um, that's something that I will do. I do have a game for the Wii U that I do want to do a Let's Play for at some points. Uh, it came out earlier this year. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Um, but, um, mm, sorry, drinking some water here. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's the kind of thing I want to know from you guys if it's like if it's something you'd want to see and not just like, yeah, I'll watch episode one and then I won't watch any of the other episodes because that's what always happens in Let's Plays. Um, is that people only watch like the first episode and then after that it just like, Less and less and less and less people watch. Um, so, uh, so anyways, let me know what you guys think. I would like to try it out. I may do a couple videos on it at least, at least to test the waters. Who knows, maybe there's like a multiplayer mode. I don't know, I haven't really looked that much into it. That'd be freaking sick if there was. I really, <laughs> I really hope there is now. Uh, we're gonna start throwing some vines in here, by the way. So let's get the vineages going. Um, but if there was like a multiplayer mode or something that I could play with friends, that would be really cool. Um, I would definitely be a fan of that. I think that'd be freaking awesome. We'll just let those grow down. Ah, uh, no, let's not. We have a bunch. Let's complete it. Let's complete it today. Um, this is like really enchanted and cool. I want to have hanging vines though too, so we could probably add some texture to the roof, like this. Have these vines hang down like that. There we go. That's gonna look a little bit better. Oh, let's put those. Yes, right on here put it on the wood blocks that'll be perfect um not that one because we need that 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 space there but uh yeah it, like i said i played it at e3 it was really fun there's a lot of new abilities um and different things that they added i guess well i don't know if they added or if they like took from sonic colors and um and sort of compiled on those or or what but uh yeah, there were some crazy abilities that were really, were really, really fun. I played it with uh, Caveman Films at E3, so that was a lot of fun. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, I don't know. Let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Um, so yeah, thank you for your question. That was like the longest answer to a question ever, but hey, I am okay with it because I got to talk about something, right? All right, so here's what we're going to do. This is going to be our little doorway. This is going to be the real doorway here. And I do want to start uh, maybe carving this out or maybe putting some more leaves up here. Sort of like entering into the enchanted world of the nether portal, which none of this has <laughs> none of this has anything to do with the nether. Like I'm putting leaves and stuff around here 
This is not nether stuff at all. If anything, I should be decorating this area with like netherrack and fire and all that stuff. Nope, I'm totally going with a, another theme. A, a totally different theme for this one. So yeah, got that going. Um, all right, let's do that. And maybe we'll make like a little bit of a, uh, kind of like a secret entrance here. Oh, you don't know how to get to the nether, bro? Okay. I ain't gonna show ya. Alright, we should put uh, maybe a piece of wood here somewhere. There we go. So we just do stuff like this. A little, a little decoration. Although I think, um, I think actually leaves that are placed by human players don't despawn. I think I heard that. I read about that at one, one time for an update or something like that. Um, oh, I know what we should do. Look at that. I got the best idea. I just got the best idea. I just got the best idea. Where are my lily pads? Where are my lily pads? Um, but yes, either way, so just to officially, definitively answer your question, either way, I will be buying Sonic Lost World um, for the Wii U. Um, I don't know that I want it for 3DS. I have a lot of 3DS games. Um, and if I was gonna record it, I would obviously do it on the, um, on the Wii U, because I don't have one of those hacked, uh, this isn't so secret really, because it leads right to it, but whatever. Uh, I don't have one of those hacked uh, 3DS's that uh, some people have that they record off of them, but in any case, um, all right. So, now that we're done with the lily pads part, let's put this back. Um, I don't know if I talked about this, but yeah, I added this little wither skull, skull to the stake. Finally, my first wither, uh, well, my first, basically, head from any mob. It's pretty, uh, it took me forever. Um, was that two weeks ago? All right. Let's get into here. Um, I like that there, but not right here. All right, so let's keep decorating because we need more... We need more stuff. We need more vines. Um, that is for sure. So let's do this. And as this starts to grow down, it's gonna look quite cool. There we go. Um, let's just keep going with the vines. Can't have too many. go we've got what one left um how many more no we've got 64 okay cool so then we've got uh these things of grass here i can start planting these in and around here what do you think melvin melvin looks good good glad to hear it glad to freaking hear it we'll put little put little uh plants like right here i actually need to get some more flowers um so those there. Actually, you know what? I like that kind of open like that. It was a little bit more raw, a little chunky. I liked it. This is looking really cool. And the other thing I noticed too, oh my gosh, I forgot I haven't talked about this yet. I ran across it a minute ago. Um, but look, we have a flat plane right here, finally, in the back side of the house. This forever was like just the train getting through here was a nightmare. No, no more. Now it is, uh, now it is much, much, much better. Oh, right, we also need to, I just remembered, we need to make some redstone lamps. Uh, that is definitely something I wanted to add to this. So, let's do that. We'll put those in little obscure corners of the, um, of the room. Or, yeah, of the, the little world thingy down there. And, oh, I also wanted to, oh yeah, I forgot, I also got to, have to get the, um, the, uh, the flowers for the flower pot. I couldn't remember. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna grab these flowers. Let's grab like six of those and five of those guys. Um, I need to run uh, water. Water would be cool. I need to run down here to get uh, some of this. So let's do that. Get some glowstone. All right, and then we'll make some there we go. Some redstone lamps. 
something I just don't create, uh, like ever. That's true. All right, we'll do. Uh, so we got five redstone lamps, so we got five of the levers. All right. Um, where is the sun in the sky? I gotta keep an eye on that. It's over there. Okay, I think we're we're good. Uh, I gotta fix this little area at some point. Whee! All right, there we go. Okay, so coming back in here, we're gonna have little pots and plants scattered about. Um, should look pretty pretty cool. Let's do something like that. Just kind of random. Um. As if like a lost age lived here or something. <laughs> I don't really know. I have no ideas. We can we can even put the flowers just by themselves, of course. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Dang it. I really want to get another piece of, of grass. There's plenty out here. Thank you. Oh, I already had some. <laughs> it's okay. Now we're back to back up to the total that I had before. Uh, where did I put that? That was like right here. I want that there? That looks cool. Um, something like that. Okay, then the next thing is the redstone lamps. So these are going to be kind of, I don't know, like, like, let me get rid of this. I want to do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is something like this. And then, um, let's see here. Throw this right here underneath. Flip that on, and then we're going to build our way up. That. Get rid of that torch. Get rid of that torch. And some, of course, of the light from the sunlight will come in here. But I'm gonna get rid of these torches. Let's make it a little bit darker so I can actually see how much light we're dealing with. Um, because at nighttime, we want the uh, we want this to still be fairly well lit. Um, all right, let's do another one here. Let's do that, go like that, flip that on, and build it up. There we go. We'll do, let's do another one right here. So we'll go like that, lamp, flip that on, boom, 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 there we go. Um, where else do I want a another lamp? Another redstone lamp. Oh, we could. Oh, 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 yes. I had an idea. I want some fences because we can also put these on uh, fences. They don't have to be buried in the ground or anything. I just thought that would look cool. A little bit more enchanted rather than just having torches strewn about. Rather than having torches strewn about. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to grab uh, some fences now. I think we're going to need those. I'll put some of these redstone torches on fence. There we go. Three. Perfect. Actually. There we go. That way I won't have something left over in my inventory. Um, okay, so it looks like it's almost nighttime again. And I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. There we go. Get some water. Mm. Which reminds me, I need to add uh, some flowing water to that little area down there because I brought that bucket of water with me. So if we could find a good spot for that, It'd be kind of cool. This episode actually reminds me slightly of the, uh, the episode that I did in season one, way back in season one, uh, where I built like a little like gar, uh, yeah, like a little garden type of thing. Um, I know the best spot for the water right here. Let's see right here. Oops. Yeah, I built like a little garden. It was kind of fun. There we go. So that's a good little spot for the water. Wow, full inventory. Look at that. This calls for... <laughs> throwing stuff into the nether. <laughs> Get out of here. I was going to say, this calls for, for throwing stuff away in our, our new trash can. Um, but uh, freaking I used the nether portal instead. Okay. So I really want these to start growing down. Um, where what was I gonna do? Oh yes, the redstone lamps on on the fences. That's right. So let's do something like this. We'll put um, a torch behind there, and um, 
maybe, maybe we'll do something like this too. Uh, which. Where is that? Oh, whew. I was like, please give me that back. Okay, um, this is going to be tricky. Oh, that didn't soak touch that? Okay. Alright, so do that. We'll do this. And then I'm going to hide this right here. Um, I'm going to cheat because I don't think I'm going to get grass on that. So, so let's do this. I want the grass back like that. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then there we go. There's the grass. All right. Sorry about that. A little bit of cheating. It's all good. There we go. That looks a lot better. Uh, cool. So I think this is it. Once all the vines kind of grow in, it'll be a lot better. Uh, we do have one more question. And this question comes from Sean40168 who says, Do you play Call of Duty? Uh, interesting question. And yes, and a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I picked this question. Um, it sort of segues into what I what I've been playing lately. I have not been playing Call of Duty. I've actually been playing a lot of Battlefield 4, a lot of the open beta, like a lot. Uh, and uh, I'm already level four, I think. And the game, the open beta just came out a couple days ago. That may be not a lot. I don't know. It takes a while to level up in that game anyway. Um, but um, but yeah, no, I've been playing a lot of uh, the Battlefield 4 beta. Um, so I know this isn't Call of Duty, and I've been playing an unhealthy amount of Halo 4. Still playing that. It's so fun. Ah, freaking! I'm loving Halo 4 hardcore right now. Um, and uh, I'll probably, I'll probably have honestly, I'll probably have videos of that coming out soon. Which I'm really, I'm upset. Okay, I'm upset that I didn't do Halo 4 videos when it came out last year because I love it. It's so much fun, and I've always loved Halo. Like. I don't know. I'm just disappointed in myself for not doing them when when the game had come out because I think a lot more people would have been, yeah, like you, Melvin. You you would have been a little bit more uh, in with it, I guess. But um, <clears throat> that being said, uh, oh, I know what else I wanted to, to use. I wanted to use some sugar cane. Then we'll be done. That being said, um, I did, I I have Black Ops Two. I've played a little bit of it when it came out, just a tiny bit. Um, I want to play some more of it just on my own for fun. Uh, I'm not a I'm not a Call of Duty player really at all. Um, my brother is. He's he's really good, uh, but I I don't know. I um, like a lot of people have like they have like the Call of Duty community is crap. Like let's be honest, the Call of Duty community is bad. But um, oh no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted that. There we go. Um, the Call of Duty community is crap, at least on like YouTube or whatever. <clears throat> and um, so I don't want to make Call of Duty videos really, but uh, to play it, it's fun. And a lot of people, I think, um, you know, Call of Duty, they say Call of Duty is dying and everything because like the games are always the same or whatever. Um, I haven't hardly played any of them. So to answer your question, no, I don't really, I don't really play Call of Duty. Um, I played a little bit of certain ones, um, and. Uh, so I don't feel like it's like if I picked one up, I'd be like, oh, this is kind of fun. Like this is cool because for me, it's it'd be like a new experience because I really haven't played it. Um, had I played like all of the Call of Duties and then I'm like gonna be getting Ghosts or whatever and be like, oh, it's like the same game. I don't know. Ghosts is, it looks really cool. Um, it looks different. Um, I don't know in what way. Hold on. I I dropped something. Ah. There we go. Anyways, I don't really know the point I'm trying to make here. The point I am making though is I do like the World War II Call of Duty games. Those ones are my favorite. Call of Duty 1, Call of Duty 2. Those are really fun. Um, I have the first Call of Duty on Steam and played through a bit of it just on my own for fun a couple months ago um, when I was just bored one day. And uh, those are awesome. And I really, I freaking wish that like the Call of Duty title, <clears throat> I wish they would make another World War, World War II game because uh, they don't make World War, like, I don't know, I don't feel like World War II games are really made that much anymore. I know, like, Wolfenstein, the new one that's coming out from Bethesda, is, like, a, slightly after World War II, so that's kind of cool. I might check that out. Uh, I, I, I just love World War II history and stuff like that, so any game that surrounds that type of thing is really, really interesting to me. Obviously, that was a big inspiration for when I made World War II Power Glove, um, was my love for, for World War II and everything. Um, which is why when I wrote that story and that little script 
for that live action piece. I set it in the world of uh, of, of 1942. But um, but yeah, that being said, um, I don't have anything against Call of Duty really, other than the community on YouTube is really crummy. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. I like I said, love the uh, love the uh, the World War Two ones, and I've been playing. I'm throwing Battlefield in this because Battlefield and Call of Duty are like competitors, you know. Um, I guess Halo is too, to some extent. Um, although I feel like it's a very different game. It's not a Twitch shooter. It's a very more precise. Like you have to, I know, double calls in a bead shooter because you got to keep the bead on the person's head or whatever. I'm part. I'm tr doing tree jumps right now. Uh, before I end this episode off. <laughs> but um, in any case, ow. Um, in any case, I have been playing a lot of first-person shooters lately, and they're really, really fun. And I actually want to be doing a little bit more videos on that, even though I'm terrible. Um, just with friends because I think playing with friends is freaking good time. It's a good time and uh, Battlefield 4 when that launches and all the new maps come out I'm gonna be doing videos on that for sure because uh, I, I did some last year uh, And it was fun, but I like for Battlefield 3, but I do want to do more this year. So Anyways That is the answer to the question and that's gonna about do it for this week's episode of TQF um, If you're still watching to this point What shall we write? Uh, just write grass stains in the comment section below because look all this this beautiful new world that I decorated here If you skin your knee in here, you're gonna get you're gonna get those grass stains and now if we go to the nether see This is what I wanted when you return from the world's worst. Oh, there's my piece of dirt when you re return from the world's worst trip to the nether and you've died or whatever And you finally drag your sorry, butt back home Look what you spawn into look at it it's boom this was Melvin Yay Melvin thinks it looks good. I think it looks good. Uh, oh, I want to see what it looks like at night I'm said zero. Oh, no, no, not zero. Let's do let's Do like that so yeah, it's still it's still uh, Pretty well lit I think enough that stuff's not gonna spawn in here. Uh, so there we go So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it Melvin come with me pal um, yeah, we'll be back again on Monday for another episode of the Minecraft Files. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sending in your questions. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you later. Bye!